What's going on guys? Today I'm going to be showing you my terminal setups starting with ST. ST stands for the suckless terminal or some people call it the simple terminal but it is the terminal that was created by the suckless devs, the same guys responsible for DWM, SL status, and many other very minimalist programs that I'm using in my system here. And ST pretty much follows the same idea as these other programs. So you can see here in the motivation, it was created because Xterm is bloated and unmaintainable. It has over 65K lines of code and it emulates all sorts of obscure and obsolete terminals that you'll never need to use. It kind of follows the same idea as OpenSSL versus LibreSSL, where LibreSSL was able to cut out a large portion of the code base because a large portion of OpenSSL's code base is support for legacy connections that pretty much nobody's using. And also in the case of OpenSSL versus LibreSSL, that's what made OpenSSL less secure. So if you want to install ST, you can go ahead and get it with this command right here. Now, ST, the default one that you would uh, clone from GitHub, is a very limited uh, terminal in terms of what it actually has in it. So it doesn't have any scroll back, for example. So like if you want to be able to, um, I don't know, if you wanna have a bunch of commands like that, you wanna be able to scroll back, you need to actually patch that into your system. So in mine, it is shift and scroll up in order for you to be able to do that. Now, my build of ST isn't really my build of ST. It's pretty much just an exact clone of uh, Luke Smith's ST build. So for those of you that don't know Luke Smith, he's also a YouTuber that makes videos um, about very similar topics to what I make. If you guys don't watch him already, you should definitely check him out. He makes a lot of videos about Arch Linux and minimalism, and he's got a lot about this terminal that he's been working on for a while here. I pretty much just copied his because it has about maybe 90% of what I actually need or what I wanted to have in my simple terminal. Um, like here, it shows that he's got the compatibility with X resources and PyWall. So one thing that I would probably do is I would get rid of the support for PyWall in my personal build because I don't actually use that at all. Um, so you can see scroll back, that's another patch that he's added. If you wanted to patch this stuff yourself, if you don't wanna just take someone else's and modify it, you can get all the patches from here. I think they've got more patches for ST than any of their other programs on the Suckless website. Um, but yeah, this is his build, and he's actually got some really cool stuff that he built into it that I don't even think is available on the Suckless website. Let me see. Um, it's this one here, copy output. Is that actually something that's on here? Um, no, it doesn't look like copy output is an available patch, so you can only get that from Luke. And let me just go ahead and demo it for you guys here. So this is, like I said, my favorite uh, aspect of Luke's build of the suckless terminal. So if I wanna do something like this in IF config, and I wanna copy the output of this command, and that's something that comes up pretty frequently in my use case for what I need to do is copy the output of a command and then either um, you know put that into a script or manipulate the output for some other purpose. But typically what I would do and probably what you're doing as well is highlight all of this stuff with your mouse and then copy it that way and then you can go into Vim and you can paste it or whichever text editor you wanna use. But what Luke managed to do, and it wasn't just him actually, let me take a look at uh, the source code of this because he gave credit to everybody in there. Uh, so this is made by Jay Walker and Luke. So what they managed to do with just a few lines of code here, pretty impressive, 
is you can do an if config and then you can do um, alt o and it'll ask you so it'll bring up a d menu prompt and it'll ask you which commands output do you want to copy and it's basically checking to see uh, what commands are in your buffer here that you might want to copy and you could just say this one here i have config since that's the only one i got and then you can open up vim and you can paste it that way so this basically allows you to copy and paste text from your terminal without even using your mouse, which might not sound like that big of a deal, but when you've got a system like mine here, where part of the purpose of this system, like part of the reason why I'm using uh, Vim and why I'm using uh, DWM is so that I don't really have to use the mouse on the system. I have uh, one of the goals that I'd like to accomplish with this is to basically be able to do nearly everything, probably like 90% of what I need to do without using the mouse. Uh, there's certain things that you can't really get around. Like I can't imagine trying to make YouTube thumbnails and GIMP without using the mouse. And I can't really imagine editing my videos in Blender or KDN Live without using the mouse. So for those things, I would use the mouse. But for everything else, like coding, virtualization, um, going on the internet to do whatever, I want to be able to do all of that without the mouse. Um, and one other thing that I'm probably gonna end up changing with Luke's build to have as my own personal ST build is to get rid of copying the uh, PS1 and the actual command that I output because typically when I need to copy command output, I don't need that stuff. I just need this stuff, which is the actual output of the command. Now, I do use more than one terminal. I don't just use ST. And I'm gonna show you guys why. So ST is a fairly minimalist pro, uh, terminal. And I think it is the most minimal in terms of its, um, its code base. So like there's fewer single lines of code to make ST than something like URXVT. But if we go ahead and get a memory footprint right now, so you see on my system, I only have one uh, simple terminal open, and currently my system is using about 77 megs of RAM. Not a very big deal, but again, with this system, the idea is I want it to be a very minimalist build to be able to have a GUI and all of that nice stuff without using, uh, with using as little RAM as possible. And I've accomplished that goal to a pretty good extent. It typically uses less than, uh, well, the first goal was for it to use less than 100 megs um, at idle with a GUI. And I accomplished that. Um, didn't even need to go into Gen 2 to accomplish that. I think I managed to do that with Void Linux. I couldn't do it with Arch because Arch uses System D and it's just too bloated. Um, but anyway, I managed to get past that checkpoint and I managed to get to the checkpoint of less than 64 megs of RAM. So now the final checkpoint is 32 megs, right? Is it possible to have a full HD GUI setup um, in Linux and be able to do anything that a regular user would do? So that includes like GIMP, Firefox, all that good stuff and less than 32 megs of RAM. I guess we'll find out. But anyway, I've got URXVT open now. And if I HTOP, you see that my RAM usage is down to 55 megs. So, and that's a pretty big difference, right? Like 20 megs, generally you think of it, oh, that's not that much RAM, but within the context of the percentage, right? 70 megs versus 50 megs, it uses almost 50% more. Now, here's the other problem with uh, ST. And, and this is kind of a well-known problem with ST. So, I just go ahead and open up ST again, and I'm gonna run an HTOP. So you see we're using 68 megs of RAM. Now let me come over to this other tag, open up another ST, and I'm gonna just spawn a bunch of them. I'm gonna spawn like, let's do 10. Okay, so that's 10 simple terminals that I just spawned. And we come over here, you see it's gone up to 150 megs of RAM. Now let's 
quit X just so that we can refresh our uh, RAM and everything like that. And now let's do the same thing with URXVT. So I've got one open here. So now we're down to 45 megs of RAM, right? It uses just a lot less than uh, ST does. And then we'll spawn another URXVT and then let's just redo this. So one, uh, I gotta be careful when I'm entering these. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So now if we come back, we're only using 111 megs of RAM. So ST, when you compare it to URXVT, it scales very poorly. Like if you have to spawn for whatever reason, like 20 or 30 terminals, you're gonna really start eating up your RAM usage if you're using ST as opposed to URXVT. Now, I know probably what the uh, ST fanboys are gonna be thinking is that my ST is so bloated because I'm using Luke's build of it, right? Like Luke patched in all this nonsense into ST, like it's got emoji support and all this crazy stuff. Well, I have a default build of ST as well. Uh, let me go ahead and become root. And um, actually I'll just install a new one because that way there can be no debate over shenanigans. So, copy that, and then come back here and paste it. All right, so now this is a brand new vanilla ST. Nothing else is added to this. Let's install it. And then we'll restart X. And then we'll see, uh, let's restart it again. So my entire bar actually loads. That's an ongoing bug that I still haven't figured out how to fix where my bar at the top, sometimes it either won't load in all the way, it'll get stuck like halfway or it'll, um, it'll be magnified. It'll be like double the size or whatever. Um, so now you see I'm using ST. And if we HTOP, we're using less RAM, but we're still not using as low of RAM as we would be. Uh, let me zoom in a bit so you guys can see. We're still not using a RAM usage as low as uh, URXVT. And URXVT actually has some stuff built into it. So like if I do ST here, right? If I have a bunch of if configs, I can't scroll back. There's nothing I can do to scroll back and I don't have X resources uh, compatibility where it can just automatically fill in my colors. Like I would have to manually define all of my colors here. And um, let's see, does it even have support for, um, what is that program called? Xclip, let's see. So I want to copy that and paste it here. Okay, it does have XClip support. Um, but yeah, there's there's fewer, it, it's still using more RAM and there's fewer features in a default ST build than there is in a URXVT build. This is um, my URXVT build where I actually have patched in, um, I can't recall if I had to patch in uh, scroll back or not. I know that I had to, uh, mess with my X resources file a little bit in order to get this to um, to be able to get the colors from it. And I had to patch in, I think Perl support. Yeah, I think Perl is what URXVT uses. There's like different Perl scripts that you can use to actually add functionality to it. So it's a little different than ST in that regard because ST would be using C. Um, but yeah, either way, it's consuming less RAM and consuming less CPU with a my setup of URXVT versus a completely default vanilla ST build. And, you know, I, I know it's kind of nitpicky, like it's only a few megs of RAM, but that's supposed to be the point of ST, is it's supposed to be the most minimalist terminal. It's literally supposed to be the suckless terminal, but... In my experience so far, it actually sucks more than your 
than URXVT. So let me know if you guys have that same experience because in my research that I've done on these two terminals, almost everybody seems to say that if you spawn a single instance of ST compared to pretty much any other terminal emulator that ST is the lightest, but it just doesn't scale well. So if you have to spawn say 10 or 20 terminals, you're gonna end up eating up more RAM with ST than your XVT. Um, now, there is a possibility that maybe I just installed it wrong. I've tried installing ST from their website. I've also tried emerging it since I'm on Gen 2 as well, and it doesn't make any difference. It's always going to use more RAM than your XVT, at least in my experience. So we'll see. We'll see if I continue on using two terminals or if I just end up uh, getting rid of one. Again, most of the time I'm using ST right now just because it has so much that's built into it, at least with Luke's uh, build of ST. It's got so many useful things built into it, but there's a lot that I still have to throw out. I got to throw out the emoji support because I don't need it. I've got to throw out the pie wall support because I don't need it. Um, I want to see if I can modify that copy output because it's a really nice feature, but it could be just a little bit nicer. It could say, you know, I could save um, having to do a DD every time that I copy it into Vim. So let me know what you guys think of this ST build. Oh, if you want to get uh, that ST build, by the way, because like I said, it's Luke Smith's, just look up Luke Smith GitHub. He's popular enough to find him that way. And uh, this one right here. So if you want to just have, you know, my build, which is really Luke's build of ST, you could just go ahead and clone this into uh, whichever folder you want to have it in and then make clean install and you'll be up and running. So hope you guys learned something. See you next time.